Hey everybody, Chris here from It's Mead Made, and today is all about e-steps. And you might be wondering what e-steps are. And if you are, I don't know man, they're just e-steps. E-steps is extruder steps. So e-steps is just a fancy way for if you tell your printer to extrude 10 millimeters of filament, it extrudes 10 millimeters of filament. That's what we're going to do today. Calibrate our printers to make sure it's pushing out the right amount of filament that you want it to. And if you don't know what your e-steps are, you might want to actually watch this video and figure out how to do it and check your own e-steps. When calibrating your e-steps, so many different people have to plug their computer into their 3D printer and then try to calibrate it that way by using certain softwares to push the filament through. But I don't do that. All I use is calipers, a calculator, and some filament. So if you have a 3D printer with a Bowden tube, this is going to be dead easy for you. But if you have a direct drive, this isn't really going to work well for you. This is specifically calibrating e-steps to your 3D printer if you have a Bowden tube. So let's go ahead and get into this dead easy way of doing it. In the last video, I actually installed this dual gear extruder. I know for an absolute fact that this is going to change my e-steps, so I'm going to go ahead and do it before I even hit my first print. So I've got my printer just sitting here on the floor just because I can access everything a lot easier than when it's setting here because kind of getting up here can be a little bit of a challenge sometimes. But what we have here is everything we're going to need today. I have some snippers, I have my calipers, I have a calculator or my phone, and a pen and a piece of paper. And you're going to need some filament. I've actually got a roll almost done that I'm going to be using for this today. So if I waste it, I don't really care. I'm going to go to prepare and I'm going to preheat my head and just the end. So I'm going to go ahead and get this up to 200 degrees. Okay, so now I am at 200 degrees and first I want to see what my E-steps are set to. So I'm going to go to control, motion, steps, and my E-steps are at 93 right now. This is an important number. You need to be able to know what your E-steps are currently at. Now you want to write this down. For me, it's going to be 93. For you, it's going to be something else. Now, once we have that, we're just gonna leave this and now we're going to go over to our printer. All right, so the first thing is, is I need to take my Bowden tube back. So I'm going to push back on this coupling and just pull it off. And there we go. So what you see here is the end of the filament. And what I'm going to do is take my snippers and go as flush as I physically can and cut it. And there we go. And that's the first step. So once we have that cut off, what we're going to do is I am going to go into prepare and then I am going to move then go to my extruder and I am going to move this 100 and hit enter. Then we're going to watch this actually push out 100 millimeters of filament. Okay, so that is the 100 millimeters of filament, at least that's what it says it is. So I am going to now snip this right at the flush end, just like last time. And now what we're gonna do is I am going to turn on my calipers and bring this all the way out to 100 just so it's close, okay? And I'm going to measure this, and I can already tell that there is no way that this is 100 millimeters. 
So my new E steps is way off. Okay. This is 67.7. My goodness. This is terrible. Now we have to calculate what our new E steps are. So what we're going to do is we know our current E step setting is at 93. And then we also know that our actual measurement is 67.7 millimeters. So now we just have to do some simple math. First we take our current E steps, which is what the settings are in the printer, 93 times 100. And that gives us 9,300. Then we're going to divide that by the new number we measured. So that would be 67.7. And then I'm going to hit equals 137.3. So our new E step is 137.3 with this new extruder. Now I'm going to go back into my control, my motion, my steps. Then I'm going to go to E steps and turn that all the way up to the 137.3. Then I'm going to commit that. Come all the way back to where I was at. Okay. So now I've got to prepare this and I am going to move my extruder all the way up to 100. And hit OK on that. Now we're going to go ahead and let that extrude 100 millimeters. So hopefully with this new setting, it's going to correct it and actually give me a perfect 100 millimeters of extrusion. The one thing is, is this is very slow and it does take time, so you just kind of be a little patient with it. Okay, so now that it's done, I'm going to snip this again. So I can already see that this was my last one. This is my new one. Okay, so now I have my calipers at zero. I'm going to bring it all the way out and try to measure this long thing. And it looks like... We are at 99.8. So this is a lot more accurate for pushing out 100 millimeters of filament. I have 0.2 millimeters of filament that I did not get. And for me that this number is perfectly fine because anywhere between 0.5 millimeters. So if this would have been 99.4, I would have gone in and changed something. But since it's at 0.8, I am perfectly fine with this setting. And all I'm going to do is leave it as it is and do a test print and see how it goes. But other than that, that's pretty much it. So just to go back over real quick for you, all you do is take your current settings on your printer of what your E-steps are set to, times that by 100, then divide that by the actual measurement of the filament that you spit out 100 millimeters of. Whatever measurement that was is what you divide it by. So, when you're all said and done, all you have to do is reconnect your Bowden tube. Make sure it's all the way back before you let go. And that is it. So that is how you set your E-steps using just these easy tools. No computers whatsoever. You don't have to connect and try to control it and measure everything that way. It's super easy and I highly encourage you guys to check your E-steps. So I try to check my E-steps about once a month, if not every other month, just because of the amount that I'm running them. Because you can see over there, I've got one of my printers running right now. So I hope this tutorial has helped you. And if you have not checked your each steps recently, I highly encourage you to check them out to see what you're actually pushing out. 
because you could be having some under extrusion problems or over extrusion problems and thinking it might be a clog or something like that. That's actually what I was having issues with. I thought I had a clog and it turned out it was actually my extruder drive. So all of this should be good now and I cannot wait to get this thing printing. If you have any questions about anything you've seen today, please let me know and I will get back to you in the comments. Other than that, I hope all of you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.